Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Tech TLDR News. Today, we are talking about the SN9 and SpaceX's cancellation of the Starship's launch yesterday, what's going on today for the Starship, and what's going on in the future with it, as well as something SpaceX just did within the last hour that I currently or nobody else understands why they did it. So if you want to know about that, stick to the whole episode because a lot of people are mind boggled by what they just did. But let's get in the reason why you clicked on this video. So yesterday, everybody thought the SN9 was going to launch. I know a lot of people were live streaming it. Tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people were tuning in live to watch the SN9 do its launch. However, they were not able to do it. Apparently, the space division of the FAA, not the aircraft division, but the space division of the FAA, did not give SpaceX the permission to do this launch. Now, the SN9 has been ready to go. I don't know why. All of a sudden, the FAA would not let them do that. Elon Musk, he tweeted back that at NASA Spaceflight that the aircraft division of the FAA, essentially, it's fine, whatever, but the space division of it is broken and that because of their regulatory rules, they cannot do it. I still, I don't understand why this couldn't have been solved ahead of time and why on the day that they were trying to fly, they were trying to figure this out. The SN9, as you all know, has been set to launch for weeks at this point. I mean, over the past week, it's gone it's engine swaps and it did static fire tests successfully. Yesterday, people were speculating that it was about to launch. It had gone through a lot of the procedures that you need to do before you can launch this. Now, I can kind of understand the FAA's point in launching the Starship. They're going to launch this 12 kilometers into the air. I get it. The FAA has to look out for the people's safety because they're next to a town they don't want this crashing on somebody's house. They don't want this killing people, etc. I understand that. I don't really understand why there was so much confusion on the day of the launch. If you guys are watching any live streams or following at all, it was literally like there was two things going on simultaneously. You had SpaceX, which was priming the Starship to do its actual launch. Things were going. And on the flip side, you had SpaceX's command contacting the FAA, trying to get approval to actually launch it into the sky. It was like, well, I don't. I just don't get why... It didn't happen beforehand in terms of getting everything settled. If you guys know, let me know in the comments because I'm genuinely confused as to what happened. Now, as what's going to happen today for the SN9, we are not going to see the SN9 launch. So locals to the area were actually told to evacuate earlier today. However, now they're told that they can go home. Already it's 11 a.m. in my local time. It's 10 a.m. at the Boca Chica area. So they're already back home because of that there's no way we are going to see the SN9 launch today. So what does that mean going ahead in the future? Well, unfortunately, I don't have the best news for you guys. At the end, I have some confusing news, but let's take a look at what SpaceX has said. So on their website, they're now planning February 1st, this coming Monday. Saturday and Sunday are going to have inclement weather. They're not going to be optimal for flight. I'm hoping, I'm assuming at this point, that SpaceX has worked out a deal with the FAA to get permits to do the SN9 Starship flight. I can't imagine they're going to wait until February 1st to pull the permit to do the Starship launch. Again, like I said, if you guys know, let me know in the comments why they would have waited so long, what the confusion was, etc. But guys, don't expect any big things happening over the weekend for this stuff. Monday is going to be the day. This is coming from SpaceX themselves. This was from their website. Granted, this tweet is from everything SpaceX, but he took this directly from SpaceX's website. And the final thing I have for you guys, which is leaving everybody confused. Apparently, Starship SN10 is now coming out of its high bay. The people, no one really knows why. So the high bay is essentially, this is where it was being constructed and where it was being held until the SN9 did its launch. See what happened with the SN9 in terms of Okay, can we correct anything? Can we fix anything? Yada, yada. Do that to the SN10 and then launch the SN10. But now the SN10 is coming out. Nobody knows why. I mean, is Starship the SN10 going to launch before SN9? Are they going to launch that Saturday and wait for SN9 to go on Monday as like kind of a joke? Like saying to the FAA, like, hey, if you guys won't let us launch SN9, huh, we'll just do SN10. Screw you. I'm also wondering if they're so confident in the build of the SN9 that they replicate it in the SN10 and are just going to launch both under the same specs, um, software and hardware wise. I don't know if they've made any sort of tweaks or adjustments in relative compared to the SN9 to the SN10, 
And of course, it's SpaceX, so they're not going to tell us anything about why they did this until this rocket launches, and then they'll probably tell us why they took it out ahead of time. I'm confused about this. If you guys have any idea as to why they may have done this, let me know in the comments because I'm sure everybody is confused about what's going on down there in Texas. That's all I have for you guys on this episode. Be sure to like this if you like this content and that helped me out. It helps tremendously. Also, if you want more of this content, subscribe to the channel. A lot of you guys are not subscribed that watch my videos. Help a guy out. I'm trying to get to 1,000. I'd love to get to 1K in the next coming month or so. So please, if you like this content, if you want to help me out, subscribe to the channel. You don't even have to click the notification bell. Just click the sub. You don't even have to, you don't even have to worry about it. Either way. Make sure if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, any knowledge you want to drop in the comments, be sure to do so. I love talking with you guys and answering questions. And with that being said, have a good one and have a good weekend because we're probably not going to be talking anything Starship related until Monday.